Hello everyone, I know it's been a minute, okay, but I'm back and uh, as you can see by my background, I have not went anywhere, okay. My decisions to relocate have been roosted up, okay. I'll talk about that in another video on my other channel. However, let's get ready to do this makeup video, okay. Now, I'm going into work, okay, as usual. And, um, oh, matter of fact, sheesh, okay. What did I just do? But anyway, I'm coming in with a new foundation. That's going to be this uh, super, uh, what is it? Super Stay by Maybelline. Everybody's been ranting about this 24 hours, supposed to be full coverage and stuff like that. And I'm tired of hearing about it. So I want to know how it's going to work for us mature women on mature skin. Now, when I say mature skin, okay, I don't mean just old skin. But as you get older, your skin tends to get drier. Okay, so for us mature women, okay, that makes a difference because we're used, we should be using creams and liquids, okay. However, this is supposed to be, um, for I think all skin types, we're going to see. We're just going to try it out. But what I was going to come to you with was a, another treat. Here it is, okay. Because I'm going to have to come and do another video because I have a palette, a brand new, it's a little palette, but I can't find it because I've uprooted everything and I even uprooted this beauty room studio that now I'm going to give back to my grandson because I don't know what they, they didn't move out, they didn't move back in. My life is just woo chow. Okay, so this is going to be the 26 blush palette by Coastal Scents. And what I'm just going to do is I have my eyebrows uh, done and my eyes primed. And what I'm just going to do is just go in with um, some of these colors to create a spring look. Okay, and then I'm just going to do some um, eyes, something quickly with the eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this foundation so you can see how this foundation applies just for yourself. Okay. So, of course, I'm going to go in with a, excuse me, a um, mattifying um, transition color slash crease color. And I'm just going to, oops, go in with, <laughs> with this color here. And um, get my trusty mirror because I'm all out of bounds here. And I will talk while I put on some eyes, okay? And the talk is, um, yes, I um, am not going to be relocating out with my mom. I don't know. She tripped out. It's pretty uh, messed up what she did. But anyway... Thank God I saved face. I still have my job and everything. But, um, yeah, it was a trip. It, I just couldn't believe she did that. So, I'm done. I'm, um, I'm done with it. Okay, as far as uh, I went out there, I tried. I was willing to relocate and all that. Okay, to be, not just because to uh, see after her health, but to be closer to my mom. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to wait till she's six feet under, you know, okay. But anyway, it didn't work out that way. And I'll just probably discuss that on my next channel, okay. Because, or should I discuss it now? Because I didn't forget what I was going to discuss in the first place. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's go in. Um this right here now these if you like i said i always say when i do these brushes these little fishtail mermaid brushes okay i get these off a of wish and if you can get your hands on some of these they don't cost that much i forget how much and i don't want to say because they may have changed the price by now i'm pretty sure but if you can get your hands on some do it okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to go over with a pinkish color Okay, and I want it to be a bright, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. I might need a flat brush. Um, but, um, let's see. Sorry, folks, but I got my little, um, brush little routine here where I can look for brushes. But anyway. Oh, here we go. Now I forgot what I was saying because that threw me off. 
because I actually thought that that brush was going to work because this is a good palette. But, you know, I'm starting to see too is that with some of these palettes, you really have to go in with a flat brush. It makes a difference. Fluffy, Fluffy ain't doing it no more. Okay. They have, um, and this ain't doing it too hot either. But anyway, we're going to go with the flow. Because I'm going to put another color over it anyway. But it would have been nice if this would have showed up a little bit more. But anyway. To change the subject. Okay. From the uh, relocation. Let's talk about some makeup. They got some cool brands. Um, I was looking at that Makeup Revolution. Okay. And that Makeup Revolution foundation. And it's only $5. However, it is not sold in the U.S. of A. Mm -hmm. So I go on eBay and this $5 foundation, they are wanting $12 and $13 for this foundation. And um, $12 and $13 for shipping. Okay, for some $5 foundation. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to get it. They have 18 colors and they do have dark shades in there. Not just one, not just two, but about three or four dark shades in there. Okay, darker shades. Okay, so I'm going to go in. Hmm. I'm going to go in with this and see how this is going to work. Give it a nice light spring look. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll tell you what. We'll talk about this. Because of me reversing this transition, I am waiting on being put back on the calendar. Well, actually I am, but the calendar is two weeks ahead. So that means last week and this week, okay, I am not on their calendar. So what I have to do now is just actually... <sighs> either they call me or I can... Um, if somebody posts a shift... I jump up and cover that ship, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. Because Anna go get her a check, okay? Some kind of check. Anna getting her a check, mm -hmm. okay? Because my heart gonna be broke, okay? Come payday, and I don't get a check. Some kind of check. I don't care if it's five dollars. I want a check, <laughs> okay? But anyway, okay. So that's what I'm doing as well, okay? To make up something because I've lost a lot of, of a few hundred dollars several hundred dollars I'm actually losing okay my plane ticket my um my uh pay my wages yes girl just a hot mess but what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this back into my room so I can give my son because he's sleeping on one of those air mattresses on the floor and you know I thought maybe it was just for a short time but they ain't left so anyway give him his room back oh. okay but when they move again they ain't getting it back next time they do that uh uh I am going to line my eyes Put some mascara on, okay? And I will be back with this Superstay foundation. And by the way, this is in the color Golden 312, okay? And I've been seeing a lot of people. Uh, yeah, see it says Golden. Can you see that? 312. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Okay, people, I'm back to put on this uh, foundation. I was listening about the YouTube shooter up there in San Bruno and everything. Uh, whew, folks, is going crazy. I wanted to see who it is and see if they had a channel, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we're going to go in with this. Oh, okay, you know what? I keep turning it. I'm going to tear it up, okay? But it actually comes off because it's a pump. Okay, I forgot that. Now let me draw you in close because I want to see. This is supposed to be full coverage, okay? It's supposed to be the bomb.com, and I want to see for myself. Now I've watched plenty of videos, and 
I noticed that it goes good with a, it goes on good with a sponge. Okay, so I got my sponge right here. It is damp. Okay, that's why it's so big. It's the little sponge that you get. Um, real techniques. Okay, and you wet it, uh, it gets bigger. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. I hear it dries fast. Okay, so this is the color it looks like. So I don't know. I hope it um it's a good color because um the darker shade was um was a honey and it looked like it was too dark and um the next one up was um tan and it was too light oh yeah this is not bad not bad I mean the color color wise but I'm gonna let you see for yourselves okay because I am liking how it is going on I'm glad I used a um, a sponge sorry about that And what you think, as you see for yourselves, okay, the um, coverage for mature skin, okay. We know it looks good on young skin. Oh, we know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but sometimes these uh, full coverage foundations can be a bit drying. And my problem is under the eye area. Is it right here in my eye area? Other than that, I really don't have a problem. But in the eye area, okay, it can sometimes come off dry. Now, I am not going to, um, I have not primed, okay, because I already have dry skin. So there was no need for me to prime, okay. Now, for my skin, I actually don't see full coverage, okay? I'm going to pump it again. Now, what I might do, because normally, you know me, I do not do all that... Uh, uh, other uh, another layer stuff okay but what I may do is go in under the eyes and uh, put in another layer now they say this dries quickly Yeah, it does dry quickly, okay, but you still got enough time to, um, to apply. So, I am going to be wearing a wig. Because I thought I would uh, take the springtime out and take advantage of my wigs. Just like I'm taking advantage with this uh, makeup. Still, because in the winter, uh, in the spring, in the summertime, it's going to be too hot, too hot. Okay, so. I don't know. Oh, and it's supposed to be transfer proof. It's supposed to set and it's not supposed to come off. I'm going to go back so you can get the full neck view and all that kind of stuff. Me too. Okay. So, hmm. It's a little... Let's see. 
don't know what it's a little too light a little too dark you let me know I know the color looks off but um mm -hmm. but uh as far as what they had at the store um okay uh i think this was the best match for me okay so what i am gonna do is and this is 312 golden what i am gonna do is i am gonna go in with this blush palette okay by coastal scents as a matter of fact, I have some contouring powder too. So we can, what this will do is this will actually help this makeup, this whole look come together. Okay. And that's all I would like is it to come together. So I'm going to use this contour shade on the wet and wild. Okay. Uh, color icon. And I'm going to take this and get this mirror. And just go in a little bit. I like this powder because it is fine. It's real fine. I just hate that line of demarcation. Okay. What I may will do is I'm gonna take a little down the nose. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. And I just took, that was the highlight part, okay, just to give me some, um, some depth here on my contour. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this blush palette like I was talking about, and I am going to pick a blush out of here. And the only reason I'm doing this right here is because I got the palette right here. Other than that, like the lipstick and stuff, I do have my lipstick uh, thing. Okay, let me see what color I'm going to go in with. Mm, I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. Okay, and we'll see how this turns out. You know me, not too much. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now what I'll do is, um, you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under the eye, okay, with a color. And I'm gonna take this brush this one right here. Let me see if I can use what's already on here. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but we're going to need a little bit more. And I may want to go in with a more precise uh, paint. And I'm going to go in with a plumish color. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup, lipstick, and whatever else, okay, off camera. And I will come back to you with the completed look, including what hair I'm going to wear. Before I put my hair on, I wanted to come back and show you something, okay? And the um, foundation has completely dried. But I'm going to show you, okay, this tone, okay? Remember when I was doing it and I'm like, you know, asking you about the color? It looks a little off. And this is that, um, uh, which usually happens in drugstore foundation. I noticed that. It's the drugstore foundation. Where it has this like olive undertone or some off color, grayish color, or olive or whatever about it. And that's what this is, okay? Now, I'm going to show you up close okay it looks good okay it's not um as you can see i don't see full coverage okay matter of fact let's see if i can go in with um, <laughs> um okay we can use this uh go in with this on the other under on, on the under eyes okay Let's do that. And um, it's drying. It's, it's, it's dry, it's mattifying, but it doesn't look dried up, okay? So it doesn't really give you that crunchy look that I hate. Get this out. But, um, Go down the nose while we at it, huh? Okay. But I thought I would just come back and point that out. Okay, see, that's a little better. Okay. I'm not going to dab too much. Because when you dab too much with these sponges, it doesn't do anything but soak up the product. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to blend it out. Okay. Okay, a little better. Yeah. So, uh, down the nose. Almost forgot. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this powder. I know this is a long video, and for those of you who like long videos, okay, hey. And for those of you who don't, it's okay, it's okay. You know, you can speed forward or you can... Uh, Watch another video, you know, okay. But I'm going in with that um, color icon with the pinkish part, okay, of the um, highlighted part, whatever you want to call it, to set this under eye. Because I noticed that this powder is real fine, like I stated, so it doesn't give you a real dried up look, okay. There we go. So other than that, I like the color. I mean, I like the um, the finish. I love the finish. Very pretty. Very, uh, it's uh, like photoshopped, okay? Airbrush finish, okay? So that's good. But the color is off. Now, would I buy it again? <laughs> Probably not. Mm -mm. And the only reason why I wouldn't buy it again is because of that undertone that I told you about how it's um, off. The color is off. See? Okay. This is golden. Okay. Um, when something's golden, I expect yellow undertones. But this is a little off. But other than that, okay, it's okay. But, yeah. Once I use this up, which I'll be using a lot of it this uh, summer. But I wouldn't buy it again. Now, if they come up with another formula, another undertone, a gold, a yellow undertone, oh yeah, okay, we can talk, we can talk. So let me get my hair, okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. I decided to go with this half wig, okay? And um, you're going to be seeing a lot of these headbands, okay? Because I like the headbands. I think they look really good on me. That's what I think. So, okay, you'll be seeing a lot of them. But anyway, I did a little highlight, okay? You can see it. I, okay, this is a... 
yellow shimmer shimmer highlight miss rose this is something i got off of wish okay and the reason i'm coming in is i'm finishing up so i thought i would do it online i mean excuse me on camera and i'm gonna do a highlight i'm using this brush this flat brush that still has a color on it and i'm going in with this highlight Ooh, okay it really came up here. Look at that. Let me go. Oh, yeah. It came up. Ooh -wee. Look at that. See on this one? You don't see nothing. But on this side. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Let me do the other side. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. Oh, yeah. So. Let me get this and do a little blending. I have a, a pimple in my eyebrow. And it's sore. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. I think it looks really nice. Okay, and uh, give me that goddess feel because it's gold. See that? Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up. By the way, I went in here. This is rubbed off. I don't even know what brand this is, but I went in the lips with this color, this new color right here. And what it is, is I'm going to finish off with this wet and wild. Okay, natural finish. But what I did want to show you is how I bought the, the matte finish. Okay. So they have the natural finish and the matte finish. Wet and wild. Okay. I don't want a matte finish because this is already matte. But I am going to go in with this. Okay. Which is almost gone and I need to buy some more. And it's only $4.99. So let's see how this goes. But hmm, I might have to get this again because I'm telling you the finish is bomb. That was a little too much there. But anyway. Okay. The reason I like to go in last with the finishing spray is because. Now you can go in two times though. You can do it and then do it again when you actually finish. Okay. That will help too. But it helps my um, my blush and my um, highlight to stay on all day. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Yeah. When I do that smile at you. Ooh, okay, that's when you see this come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so you know. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm hoping you like it too. Give it a thumbs up. You like this look, I will be coming back. I gotta find that palette. So I can come and uh, do a, a, a look with that palette. But um, I'm also going to be coming back, too, with some foundations. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did my taxes. <laughs> and I'm waiting on my money, boo-boo. Yes. Okay. So, give this a thumbs up. Leave your comments or any questions you have uh, down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's more. But most of all, stay blessed. Bye. And stay safe.